what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Jacksonville rappers are at the forefront of a dangerous trend called demon rap, where rappers do the most disrespectful things they can think of to members of rival gangs. Popular Jacksonville rapper Young Breezy allegedly did the unthinkable. He posted what many are calling a death pic of one of his ops, a rival gang member named Dank. And he covered the image with disrespectful tags like Dank get up and he'll pack too. According to online reports, one of Breezy's homies ran down on Dank and caught him lacking, shot him up multiple times, robbed him. They say they sent Dank to the hospital where he was uh, admitted with life-threatening injuries. Unfortunately, he succumbed to his injuries and he's no longer with us. So Breezy somehow got a hold to a picture of him in the hospital fighting for his life. And he posted it on IG. Okay, fam. Each day, it becomes more and more clear to me that some of these youngsters just don't care about living. It's just like they just don't want to live. And that I can't relate to because I just never, ever reached that point in all of my gangsterism. And I know I've done something. I've done some things. <laughs> These dudes are the same dudes who say they love their mothers and they love their children, or whoever, grandma, granddaddy, whoever. But when they do these type of things, they don't consider their family members or their loved one. They don't, they don't really consider them. I think it's one of the most selfish acts a person can participate in because you have to think that there is no way you're going to be able to just walk around disrespecting the dead like that, especially when you're talking about gang members or people in the streets and that their people ain't going to bust back. It's a vicious cycle. You hit, they hit. You hit, they hit. You hit, they hit. And it just goes on and on and on and on. And the thing about it is that no longer are you, the gang member, the street dude, the only one that is targeted? Ain't really no code. There's really no rules. So they're killing everybody. So when you just unnecessarily do something disrespectful like that, you plan with your loved ones' lives, not just your own. Maybe you don't care about living. But if you really care about your people like you say you do, why not keep it a buck and not lie to yourself? Don't be a hypocrite and stand on it. Stand for them. Why not protect your people? I mean, if you want to just do something reckless, you know, I was just always under under the understanding that you don't shit where you lay your head. You don't, you know, participate in reckless behavior, criminal activity, where people have access to the people you love. If you're gonna do it, you move around. They don't know where you live. They don't know how to get at you. They don't know how to get at your people. But these dudes, they're not like that. It's just...
to me, is just a, a pitiful, selfish act. I would be very surprised, and I'm not wishing nothing on nobody, but I would be very surprised if dude could open his eyes to 2022. It's like, it ain't nobody going to jail. That's the cold part. Nobody's going to jail. Because those people, they like it like that. Hey man, they want your body cold or warm. They don't give a damn. You know? Cold in the morgue, warm in the penitentiary. It's a win-win for them. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?